tough questions. <laughs> um, thank you very much. Um, let's start with EWN, uh, Zuma factor. Uh, Zuma was a factor in this election, and the same as the formation of Mkonto Wesizwe, and uh, we knew that. And uh, we did not talk out of turn about Zuma. We were exposing uh, the untruths in the campaign that uh, he was talking about, and uh, also defending our own party and our own organization in terms of those untruths. Um, we never underestimated Zuma. Uh, we knew that uh, he will get support in Natal, in Pumalanga, and Gauteng. And uh, that is why we, we put up a fight uh, in relation to him and his party and also mobilizing our people. And uh, you all saw us on the ground. And you even uh, did mention the fact that the ANC is spending a lot of time and money uh, in KwaZulu Natal and Gauteng. Because you yourselves, you knew that uh, we had been challenged in these two provinces heavily. Also because Houting, we won it, uh, but not convincingly even last time. We just ended at 50%. So, and also because these two provinces constituted the biggest populace in relation to the election. And so our challenge was there. And uh, we spent a lot of time and resources uh, in terms of this campaign, working very hard to convince the people. And of course, there were big challenges on the ground. Uh, water crisis in KZN uh, was the biggest, and we entered the election dealing with challenges of load shedding. But Zuma on his own, uh, and because he comes from that province, was affected uh, in terms of the campaign of the ANC. And uh, it is shown uh, in the results. We have lost even some of our strongholds to the MK party uh, in, in KwaZulu Natal. I mean, uh, so it looks like uh, we were marching with Zuma Mechina as we were working uh, on the ground. Uh, so it is reflected in the, in the result uh, and so on. So going back to the drawing board, this will be analyzed carefully by our team led by Nomvula, our DSG, uh, who was heading our election campaign with them do as the election head. Uh, so the team and the research team will come to us uh, and so on with all those factors. Um, we had to fight hard in this uh, election, uh, ladies and gentlemen, because even our own research did point to dangers that uh, the ANC will get 43%. But uh, we stretch ourselves uh, in a way that uh, we convince the people to vote for us. All sorts of factors were against us. You yourself as a media, collectively and individually. I saw you in the queues uh, punching the line, change, change, change. And uh, most of you, we can't, uh, we don't control the media. Even after the results, you are using very uh, harsh words. The ANC have been booted out and, and all of that. We are not booted out. We suffered heavily, uh, but we are not out. We are still a force to be reckoned with. And uh, your polls and everybody else, which we did not argue with, did tell a story that we will be in our 30s and all of that. So we believe in persuading the voters. And we ran a very clean campaign. A clean campaign, we were not dirty. Uh, we believed in the power of our message uh, to the people and what we are there to offer. Of course, the sins of incumbency were also eating in our capital, so to say politically. Um, in terms of how far we could have gone. You will see in this result that our enemy, which is a low voter turnout, affected us also. Uh, there were glitches there and there, which were fixed to a certain extent, 
uh, by the IEC, uh, but we don't count that as eating in the morale of our electorate. Uh, we accept the results and we congratulate the IEC for all the efforts they've put to run a free and fair elections. ENCA, uh, again, Zuma, uh, ANC does not change things because of the weather. Uh, if you are a member of the ANC, you work by the rules of the party. And uh, those rules means you've got to abide by the discipline of the party. And uh, Mr. Zuma has been suspended by the ANC, and uh, the ANC will follow through all the rules uh, of the party. The party is not decimated. It is led by Ramaphosa and all of us. Yeah, and uh, you don't change the rules because of the outcome of the elections. Otherwise, you will not have a party at all. Uh, so the rules of the ANC will remain. MK party talks, we're talking to everybody. There's nobody we are not going to talk to. Uh, like I said to you at the beginning, when I was talking to you outside, let me repeat it again. We have been approached by political parties as it is normal, and the outcome is clear. Nobody has got outright majority. So we'll talk to everybody. We'll talk to everybody. And uh, don't uh, want uh, to distort things. We're talking to the DA, eh, we are talking to the MK party, we're talking to EFF, we're talking to everybody. Uh, because the election did not give us outright majority. Those who don't want to talk, don't want to talk, we can't force them. We're looking at our scenarios, we're looking at the options uh, before us. We're having a, a National Executive Committee meeting on Tuesday which will report on these talks. Talks about talks. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be no talks if we reach the uh, outright majority. Yeah. I cannot stand here and tell you that I've got a mandate to tell you that we will not talk to everybody. I've got a mandate from the leadership of the ANC as of yesterday that we must engage with political parties who are engaging with us. And political parties have approached us and we will be talking to them. We've got a team led by the Secretary General that will be talking to everybody in the talks about talks. And we'll report about those talks tomorrow to the officials, we'll report to the NWC, we'll report it on Tuesday to the NEC. And the NEC will then take a decision uh, informed by its own uh, analysis that it will have received on these matters, what needs to be done. So that's where we are. Talks about talks are in full swing. We are engaged and uh, we are open to engagement. Up until this far, except like in the last election, Mashaba was walking here like a king, and then he said, uh, I don't know where he is in the scoreboard, but uh, I saw him, he wanted a recount. Elections will humble you, it's like a game of golf. Uh, Mashaba declared here yeah, that he would not want to talk to the NC. You have talked to political parties yourselves, and you have engaged with them, we are here today. None of them have said they don't want to talk to the ANC. None. None of, even ourselves, we are not saying we will not talk to anybody. We've got our own principles that we have long adopted in terms of coalitions. And we said that a coalition is a consequence. When you don't have a, a, a majority, you deal with that. There are many options on the table including a rerun, including going back to the benches, including working with others, those who want to work with you to constitute government. We need stability in this country. And like I said in the statement of the ANC, we will put the interest of the people of South Africa first. The coalitions have not worked for us in this country. It has brought instability and all of that. But it is the will of the people. It is the will of the people and that is what we must accept. Uh, it is not 
an outcome. We ourselves cannot abandon the ship because we've got six million people who are still standing and believing in the African National Congress. If we had one or two million, it will be political obliteration, decimation. You can mention the names. We are not decimated. We are blown but not out. We're still standing. And uh, we will come back. Now, you don't uh, analyze a match by the results, wonderful results of Orlando Pirates yesterday. Uh, 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 Orlando Pirates yesterday, which have really, really worked on me positively uh, as a supporter. Uh, so nobody won uh, in this election, only Orlando Pirates uh, won yesterday. Um, Ramaphosa is the president of the ANC, and if you come to us with those demands, forget. If you come to us with a demand that Ramaphosa must step down as a president, that is not going to happen. We've got no such mandate. We are not going to engage with political parties on the basis that we don't want to talk to so and so and so and so. Uh, we're not going to do that. Because we don't run political parties. You ask me about MK party. We've got many reservations about that party, but we will talk to them. If they want to work with us, we will map out how we want to do, but no political party will dictate terms like that to us as the ANC, we will not. Uh, that is a no-go area to everyone. It's a no-go area. It's a no-go area. You come to us with that demand, forget. And I've heard some of you murmuring even in the bathrooms, Ramaphosa, when ANC loses power, is going to resign. Why did he stand as a president? You stand in an organization in bad and good times. These are bad times. When we signed to stand, people have asked us a question, Nomvula and others, are you going to step down? When we agreed in Nazareth to the branches of the ANC that we stood, it meant even for occasions like this. And uh, we are leadership. Our leadership is tested. You don't run away. Uh, so, uh, so we are men and women who have been given a responsibility in our party to lead and will lead our party and will give an account in the general council will give an account uh, even to the national conference about this moment and uh, we will equally give answers as a leadership about what went wrong and how do we get out of this quagmire? We knew that we were in trouble. It's not like we didn't know. Uh, we fought very hard. Our structures, the president leading from the front, we throw ourselves into it. We didn't sleep because we knew that we are in danger. But this danger can be corrected, and it will be corrected by the current leadership. Inside politics, working with uh, other parties, it will be informed by negotiations and discussions. It will be informed. We are open as the ANC. Like I told you that there is an option to work with a party. There is an option. They are there. Even the last option of working from the benches, it is there. As an opposition. Uh, the ANC will not weigh up, will engage with each, but informed by the discussions we've got with other parties, because we did not win a majority. And that is a fact. If we won a majority, it will be easy. We will move with speed to constitute governments where we have won and appoint premiers in the next coming week. By Thursday, we'll come back to you and announce our premiers, as agreed uh, by the National Executive Committee. Uh, we will be done with that task. 
We've got to prepare to go to the National Assembly, talk with other parties and all of that. That work has begun as of yesterday. As I'm speaking to you now, we're talking to parties. We're engaging with them. The officials met yesterday already. Uh, we will meet tomorrow on Monday, officials and the NWC. On Tuesday, there will be an NEC meeting. And on Tuesday in the evening, we will thank our volunteers and supporters who have supported the ANC in this campaign. And the president of the ANC will speak then. Again, walking on the footsteps of being empowered by the NEC, but equally by this statement we are putting across uh, as an organization. So we are ready to work with everybody, but we've got, pe we've got, uh, we've got uh, perspective, we've got principles. But you recognize that uh, in these elections, like in a coalition, you don't work necessarily on the basis of ideology. Sometimes you work on the basis of interests and at the same time for the stability of the country uh, and everything else. So we, we, we must not be preempted through faceless reports, false, fake news. Mbalula is meeting with Rupert and Oppenheim. I mean, what nonsense is that? Never met with them. And then Oppenheimer is about, if Oppenheimer loved the ANC, he would have given us money, he gave it to Rising Zanzi. And I don't see them here. I mean, uh, <laughs> Rising Zanzi. So he gave the money there. The ANC fought for itself. None of these people you are mentioning today have given us money or shown support to us. My preoccupation and our preoccupation has been to interpret the results and at the same time to make a reflection. And my job uh, as a Secretary General working with the collective and the officials was exactly to do that. So I can't spend time here at the Election Operations Center. Nomvula was here. Gwede Mantaje is your friend, is always here. Uh, and all of them, they've been taking interviews. Mdunduli has been here. My job with others has been to sit, think, it, the, the job is too much. It's too much. I mean, uh, to meet with provinces, prepare provinces to elect premier candidates. We must interview those people. There must be meetings. The organization must operate. So where will I get time? And then at the same time, we must talk to other political parties. Yes, we talk to parties. We engage. And uh, that's it. And parties approach us and we engage with them. And uh, uh, that is what uh, we're going to do. Rumors and people, it's not going to help the ANC. Rumors, even myself, my sister, I've heard about them. It's not going to help our organization to start pointing, uh, finger pointing, that in case that N were betrayed by one of our own, uh, if, if we, t we sensed that, that they are, we knew in case at end, particularly that um, Zuma has got a strong touch. Uh, if there are people who aided him, we will unmask that. But we equally know why MK Party was formed. And uh, we know that. So I, I wish to pause there. Uh, and uh, don't ask me again about it. I'll talk one day. Uh, <laughs> Not now. Not now. Not now. Not now. I world news, threats of violence. Our statement is very clear. We condemn any threat of violence. Uh, if people have got concerns, they must raise them with the IEC through the procedures of dispute. We are not saying people must not dispute. They must raise their issues. But going to violence and mud our country and our democratic processes into violence is not going to help. There are, there are many things that sitting here I'm not happy about. <clears throat> and that happened on the election day. But if you ran elections, you have been in the game, those things do happen. You can complain, you need to check. If you complain, 
Is there any material effect on the results? Nothing. Can complain for a VD somewhere that uh, things did not go well. If I dispute that and it is addressed, we are happy with that. So uh, uh, we commend the IEC for a job well done. We will be at dinner tonight uh, of the IEC at 7 o'clock. Uh, removing people, will we be removing people? Uh, we don't remove anyone. I've explained that particular point. The task of the leadership is to deal with uh, almost sinking a ship. Uh, the results have, have shown us uh, that uh, if we don't strengthen the renewal and many other things we needed to do as a party, uh, we will be gone. So it's no longer a pipe dream, the issue that the ANC can be cut below 50%, it has happened in our lifetime. So we need to correct ourselves, the path we have started, the things we have been warned about by society, by the elders, and everyone else. And uh, I forgot to thank our alliance partners, uh, COSATU, Communist Party, and, and SANCO and the broader mass democratic movement, SASCO, COSAS, uh, the Women's League and the Youth League for their contribution in this campaign. It was tough, uh, but they did come to the party. So we ran a very smart campaign, even if I have to say it myself. Uh, we did the things that campaigners do uh, to woo the votes. We strengthened our voter contact like nobody's business, uh, the leadership leading from the front. We ran a very short campaign, three months. And uh, we thought that would have made an impact, would have been heard. The people did hear only six million turned out to agree uh, with us. So we're not going to remove anyone. Uh, anyone who wants to do that, including the ANC, there are procedures to do so. Uh, I've seen other people, we will never allow uh, looking at ourselves. That's normally what happens. You leave the elections, the concerns of the people, the immediate task the party is focused on is leadership. Who becomes the next leader? That thing is not going to give ANC any better result. You spend the next five years fighting for a single leader in the organization. Our job is to start doing things right, as we have done, in preparation for the next election, and not rock up in the doorstep of the people on the election day. Uh, elections are not won like that. So we must continue with the good work that we're doing and uh, getting in touch with the people. And that is what is important uh, for us uh, going forward. Thank you very much.